Hey guys, welcome back. We have a new build series starting. It's going to be a new motorized bike. That's the engine kit that's going to go on it. Some more details on that in some upcoming videos. Um, but in the meantime, let me show you the bike. Okay, so here's our bike. Um, this is a, I want to say, 90s Huffy mountain bike. Um, maybe earlier, maybe late 80s. Anyway, the reason why I wanted this is because we have plenty of room for the engine there um, in the frame. And then you can see we have a derailleur so I can just pull the wheel back to tension the chain for the engine. I don't have to actually run a tensioner. And uh, yeah, steel frame, steel wheels should hold up pretty nice. Um, it's a little dirty. It's been sitting for about 10 years. I don't know if they're showing up on camera, but we got dust and cobwebs and all that. Anyway, uh, it's a really good base for our bike, um, but I want to have some suspension, um, maybe some, some better brakes. So we'll see what I can scrape up from the parts bin and try to slap on here. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. And there we go. Also, I looked up a little bit more on this bike uh, off camera. It is actually a Murray Fox River. Um, these were sold, uh, from what I saw, it looked like this is about a 91. So that's what it is, just a early 90s mountain bike. So let's take some measurements and see if I can find a better fork. Okay, so it looks like we got about five inches there. Then we'll check the diameter. All right, so five by about one and a half. Okay, so uh, here's another parts bike uh, that I've had laying around for a while. It has a nice shock fork on it and some cantilever brakes. I just measured this and it is about five and a quarter by one and three eighths. So I think this will be close enough to swap. But, uh, let's find out. There we go. Alright, our fork is salvaged. So let's go ahead and see uh, if we can get that other one off. Alright, so these handlebars have insanely long amount of adjustability. And, uh, <laughs> oh man, this thing's floppy. So, it's getting hung up on this brake cable. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take that off here. All right. Man, some things are hard with one hand. Jeez. Oh my god. Well, maybe that'll be enough where we can get this handlebar off. Yes. Awesome. Okay. We got two pieces now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up these bearings here and then grease them again. And then uh, we'll go ahead and throw this fork in. So this is just some parts solvent. Not Rust-X or Simple Green anymore, just uh, more PB Blaster stuff. Definitely not a sponsor, but they make good shit. Anyway, so I'll just hose those down, let them soak for a little bit, and then wipe them off with this rag, and then we can put new grease on. Alright, <clears throat> we got our grease in there, bearings on each side, and now this is what I love about bikes. We're swapping this from a bike that's 20 years newer and a different manufacturer from a different country. <laughs> and the bearing holder just goes right on, threads right up. God, I love standardization. That is awesome. Alright, our new fork is on. I had to get a little creative with the hardware up here. Uh, this top nut is from this bike. Oh, 
crap. And then this little adapter thing that's from uh, the the new bike with the new fork. Then this is from the old bike. Bearings are from this bike. Uh, the reason why I had to put this here, Jesus, <laughs> was uh, to properly space it because uh, this reflector didn't fit anymore. But uh, yeah, we got the fork on. So now let's see if this wheel swaps. Hopefully it does. All right, so the wheel is pretty close. It's uh, about a half inch off. Uh, we can make that up with like nuts or, or washers or something, but I did notice this. Those sound a little dry and there's a little bit of play. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that axle out, clean up the wheel bearings and re-grease them before I put this wheel on. Well, that was a big old can of worms I wish it didn't open. So this does not have bearing races. In this bike, it just has bearings floating around in a cup. So I get to play 52 pickup. Okay, so I got everything cleaned off. No more dried up grease and dirt in there. I have an even number of ball bearings. That's good. 10 sounds like a good number for each side. Whether or not that's all of them that go in there, I don't know, but we'll find out. Now I just gotta figure out how the hell I'm gonna actually put these in there without them rolling away. Okay, so this was the solution. Just pack it with a shit ton of grease and stick them in there by hand. So now I'll go ahead and put the axle in and do the other side. All right, we have freshly greased bearings. I got them a little on the stiff side, but at least we don't have play now, and uh, they don't sound super dry and nasty. So let's go ahead and finally throw on that wheel. All right, and here are my spacers that I spent way too much time on. So I dremeled the centers out so that they would fit over the axle, and then I also made them quite a bit thinner by sanding them down with the belt sander. And those are going to space out that gap between the fork and the bearing cup. And then it still will tighten up a bit, and this should be a nice in-between where we'll still get a decent amount of uh, threads grabbing on the outside edge. So I'll go ahead and put those on. All right, you can see we got our spacers in. Both sides, decent amount of thread coverage, and bearings are working great. And there you have it. We now have suspension on the front and a ridiculous amount of caster. That should keep this thing straight. And we actually have suspension. I think I already said that once. That's okay. You can see we have quite a bit. I'd say that's probably an inch and a half of travel up front. So that should make this bike quite a bit more comfortable to ride once we're going with <coughs> a motor on here and more weight. Anyway, thanks for watching today, guys. I was planning on tackling the brakes too, but it looks like that's going to be another episode just because there's a ton of work left to do on that bike. Um, but I think we accomplished quite a bit today. We have one functional wheel <laughs> with good bearings anyway and we have a half a suspension system so um, if you want to see what happens with this bike um, go ahead subscribe watch the future videos it will be getting an engine soon um, i'm just making sure the bike's uh, good to go because you want to have a good bike to have your engine on um, anyway if you like this video go ahead give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time